I'm Sandy Hussey, a research librarian at Lowender. Today, I'd like to introduce you to the card catalog. When the library opened in 1970, the card catalog was still the essential tool. You used it to find out what books the library had and where they were located. You can see that it's central. It takes up half the space. It's right behind the reference desk where the librarians are assisting researchers. Patrons used to call us on the telephone to ask, does Georgetown have a particular book? And we would look up up to three titles at a time. Each book had three to five or six cards to represent it, author, title, and maybe three subject headings. And they were filed in alphabetical order. The holes are for the rod and the drawer to keep them in place. Each card had the call number and location information as well as the publication details. The card catalog is expandable. You just add new cards when new items are added. One of the virtues was serendipity. As you were going through the cards, you'd find one thing and maybe another. It was like getting lost in the internet. But you needed to know the author's last name and how it was spelled, the first words of the title, and the standardized terms for subjects in order to find anything. A big problem was space. You needed lots of drawers for all the cards, for all the books. When the third floor was renovated in 1993, the card catalog was dismantled and the cards were sent to be recycled. We already had a computer catalog by 1985 and stopped filing cards in 1987. The computer catalog was called George and in 1993, we were getting a new version. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm.